And welcome back. So I realized when I did my Black Ink Crew show reviews for this season that some people have not seen the original Black Ink Crew. So I'm going to try to fill y'all in. I have seen every single episode from the very first one up until the current date. I love Black Ink ink crew i am a big black ink crew fan of the original black ink crew so i'm going to use an interview that caesar did with the breakfast club to help kind of bring y'all up to date so things can kind of make a little bit of sense to you about like what's going on since some of y'all are just now tuning in so, I'm fixing to drop this video right here so we can do a review on it. Um, it's kind of a lengthy video. So, I'm not going to let the entire video play from beginning to end. But, I'm going to let snippets of it play. I am going to leave, leave a link to it below so you can go watch the entire video. But, what I am going to do is break down a bunch of stuff on here and go on and fill y'all in on, the, on some of the stuff that they're talking about so let's get into this video Okay, let's pause this because, see, let's go on and get into this show right now. And let me go on and give y'all some tea on this. So, like C just said, he owns the entire Black Ink name, right? That's all him. That's his. He owns it. So, if you watch it, Black Ink Chicago... You watch it. That's his. That's him because that's his brand. Even though Black Ink Chicago, the name of the tattoo parlor is Nine Mag, it's under Black Ink. So anyway, moving on. First of all, they could at least done their research and been up on at least the latest episode. Just disrespectful. Y'all don't even know what's going on. First of all, they gonna bring up. The girl being pregnant. Everybody that watched last season know that was some BS. They know the girl wasn't even pregnant. I can I kept saying if you go back, I don't know how far back because I tweet a lot. So 
down in my tweets, I said from the very beginning, it didn't make sense. Everybody, it, it, the whole situation just didn't make sense. Because I'm going to tell you why it didn't make sense. You mean to tell me, somebody going to come tell you, your fiance now, not just any random, yo, this your man, your fiance, somebody you going to marry, got somebody pregnant. And you going to just get mad at him and believe it at the gate. You ain't going to try to get no receipts, try to talk to the person, no text message, no picture, no nothing, no proof. And you going to get mad at him. Then you going to go still claim and talk to somebody that still won't give you no pictures and no proof. That wasn't nothing but a set up by Duchess for them to break up. That's all that was because see, the Duchess done got what she got it out, wanted out of this deal anyway. That whole situation was fake. It didn't even make no sense. She, this girl just dropped out of nowhere. Didn't the girl come hollering that her sister was pregnant by Duchess? She, I meant pregnant by Caesar. Girl, that, she wasn't even on Caesar level. They wasn't even on his his level. Wasn't even his cup of tea. Cause if you if you watch it, you already know the type of girls that Caesar like. Number one, she got to be light skinned because that's all he messed with. Look at his baby mamas. Look at Duchess. Look at everybody he laid up with who who be in his face. Look at Carly Red. Look at anybody that he messed with. All his women fit a pattern. They all have something in common. That's one of the things they have in common. So, the dead out of the gate for me was already coming since to let me know right then and there. And it's a done deal. Girl, please. And then this BS about he had new pictures on his computer. Okay, let me go on and drop this tea right here. Speaking of tea, before it get cold. Excuse me. We already done seen on the other episodes in other seasons this same computer that Duchess broke. Duchess was sitting at this computer, quote, doing work when Caesar was at home and wasn't at home. Trust and believe that Duchess done went through this computer before. If it was something on this computer, Duchess would have seen it. And this is where I said they should have did their homework because on that Teddy even said it was his pictures. The pictures that Duchess was referring to was his pictures because he takes uh, sees everything. He had takes Caesar's the pictures. It was all his stuff. Caesar's phone. He has an iPhone and he has a Mac. They're connected. They sync. So his texts and stuff sync together. She knew that those pictures were none of Caesar's because trust and believe. Before this date and time, she would have already acted a fool over him. So that all that was a complete setup and some drama for the show. Like they said, they have to have drama for the show. And I'm guessing she wanted to be relevant and have some drama for the show. I don't know. But she wanted to have a reason to break up. She had a reason. She made up a reason. Whatever it may be, she did it. And Caesar is right. He has, what he doing ain't nobody doing and that no one has ever done. He is doing the big, just big with this tattoo thing. And I'm personally wanting to go get inked by him. I don't want anybody doing my ink. I, I want him to do my ink. I don't know if I trust anybody else in there to do my ink. But I would like for him to do it. Anyway... And like if he go to he in Atlanta, I I I'll travel four hours out to Atlanta to get inked by him in the heartbeat. I hope he get Miami open. I'm gonna be in Tampa here soon. I hope um and when I get down that way, I can swing through Miami and get tatted. You know what I'm saying? But um, moving on, I want to know what in Duchess's mind. Make her think she's entitled to half of what this man has. If y'all have seen all the other seasons, y'all seen day one, season one, she come waltzing in black ink with her little law degree, um, bragging about how she graduated cum laude or whatever you call it and how smart and intelligent she is, all this, that, and the other. She walked right up in there like Young Bay, Melanie, Donna, and everybody else. So what in her mind makes her think 
that she made Black Eat and she made Caesar. Because um, let's keep in mind, for her to be on the show, he had to have already been established and made the show. He was Black Ink. Hence the show. So how you make him? He made you. You is irrelevant. The show wasn't called Duchess Ink. It's called Black Ink. You didn't make Black Ink. He already had it was known for his tattoos. It was famous people already getting tatted there before Duchess came along. So for her to have in her mind that she made Caesars, made the shop, made black ink, that's ignorance on her part. I thought she was supposed to be so intelligent. Like I said, she didn't make Caesar. Caesar made her. Then um she thinks she can just sleep her way. And to half of everything. Girl, where they do that at? If a woman could sleep her way to half of everything, women around here would be owning everything and be very well off. It wouldn't be no prostitution or nothing if that was the case because they could get half of everything them men had. <laughs> they wouldn't be on their back and ever, never again the way rich people be paying for the sex. So... Let me say this. In my honest opinion, I feel like at this point, Duchess used Caesar from day one to get what she wanted. If you watch all the episodes of this show, she ain't never really done right by Caesar. It's been a lie after a lie after a lie. The lies have been like a domino effect. The last four lies that took do y'all let me ask you something. Do y'all remember that see that season when Duchess was supposed to be sick <laughs> and she kept crying? And every time that season got mad at her or she did something wrong, she'd be like, I'm sick, C's, I'm sick. I'm sick, C's, I'm sick. He just left me lying there, y'all. He just left me lying there. He left me lying there. I you see that I was sick, and you know I'm going through this season, and you just left me lying there. Y'all remember that season when she did all that crying all the time, and she was sick, and every time he got mad at her, she was laying on the ground going, <laughs> every time she got sick, and she's supposed to be so, so, just so ill and all of that stuff. If y'all been watching Black Ink Crew from day one, y'all remember that. That's why I said her lies just been like a domino effect on top of each other. Because the four lies, let me tell y'all the last four lies that just really took the cake for me. Number one, she lied about having two phones. When, she, when they went with Sky to get, for Sky to get her butt and breast done, she lied about having two phones. She was out there on another phone talking to a dude on the phone then. Number two, she didn't have on her engagement ring. She claimed she dropped it by a puddle and uh, something and the frog took it and ran off with it. Number three, she claimed that um, Donna mouth raped her when she went in there and had been flirting with Donna all night, come on to Donna, led Donna on and enticed Donna into the bedroom. And when Donna gave her what she wanted, then she claimed Donna mouth raped her, right? Yeah. And then the last one, uh, the icing on the cake on top of them, all, all three of them, is having the girl lie saying that Caesar had the baby so she could just end it with him. Um, The whole thing with the frog situation taking the ring, that was supposed to come behind Caesar cheating on her, which he did cheat on her. But she was acting a fool and doing other stuff. But see, we come to find out now she was cheating pretty much from the beginning. She the one was running around with two phones doing stuff anyway. So him cheating to me now. Then I was mad at, at Caesar for doing it. Now I'm like, I don't condone cheating. But if she was already doing it first, then you can't be mad at him. Because like, she was doing it. Okay, so in this interview, he talks about fighting on the show. And he says it took him, you know, the first couple of seasons to really get used to that because he's not about all the fighting. But in order 
to have a successful show, you have to have the drama. I'm not going to lie. I live for the drama on this show. One thing I like about this show, it's not as fake as other VH1 shows. The other VH1 shows like Love and Hip Hop has really went to crap. The fighting on there is so scripted and fake. One thing about about Blank, Black Ink is just like more realistic and natural. Like they really got beef or they really into it. It ain't like... The, the, they said, wait a minute, well, we want y'all to fight, we want you to punch, we want y'all to do this. It's like they really have drama, and they really be fighting for real on that. And that's why I like this show so much, because it ain't as scripted as, like, Love and Hip Hop New York, and I'm gonna tell you, Black Ink Chicago was, they messed up the whole scripted on that. If you want to see what I'm talking about, go down there and look at my video, of the next to the last episode. Because I didn't do a video on the last episode. But the next to the last show. Before the finale of that. The season finale of that show. I I dropped some receipts. On how you bogus you can tell it is. And that production really didn't even care. They was just ready to wrap it up. And have a season. And, and call it quick, you know done. And um, I hope the next season it comes back. They put in some time. And either script the show better or let it be more realistic but anyway back to the black ink crew in this interview they asked him how he felt about looking back and seeing how duchess the times the duchess was crying and everything and <laughs> he, he you know he, he thought it was funny y'all need to go back and watch that part but I'm going to tell you how I felt about it that going I'm trying not to cuss because we don't want to get flagged but No sympathy. Because at this point, we know it was all fake. We know that whole time he really loved her. Seriously loved her. Because she was the one doing everything. She was the one putting him through. Out of everything on the show that was done, the, the, the only thing he did was cheated. Everything else was on her. All the drama, everything was on her. She did everything else. So, you know, what can he feel bad about or how can he feel sorry for somebody that lied to him and somebody that's trying to take half of what he built and half of what he made who wants half of the four tattoo places that he got how can how does she feel like she's entitled to half of four businesses like no you're not entitled to half of four tattoo parlors you just not like just because you was you he was he, you was his fiance and then when she was crying all them seasons, let's keep in mind how he going to feel sorry for her when she was crying to cover up stuff that she had done. Any, like I just said before, when I was talking about how she did the other season, anytime Duchess does something wrong, she she starts there crying. Seize, seize, why don't you listen to me? Seize, seize, listen to me. Listen to me, you hurt my heart. Seize, seize, seize. <sighs> Shut the up. Uh, like already. So this is something in this interview that I didn't know that he put me on to. We watched all last season how Duchess has went on and said this her shot. How proud she is that she did this by herself. She how she did this by herself. She done took all her hard um, earned money and put it to opening her shop. This her shop. <laughs> See you dropped the tea that uh he gave her that shop. He helped her open that shop, which, you know, she was there. And I was wondering why when stuff was wrong with the shop, she in, like, I think I she needed some money for the shop. Was it like $3,000 or something like that she needed? And she was calling C's, and I'm thinking, well, what you call? And I was thinking at that time, like, well, what you calling him for? You said this was all you. Because he was paying for everything. He was getting it set up. She was doing the decorating and stuff. But now it all makes sense. Hmm. Yep. And then I wanted to know what became of the Carly Red situation. And he talked about that. Basically, you know, like when you first moved to Atlanta, Car Carly Red is your introduction introduction booty. And that's what he got was his introduction welcome from Carly Red. They did that little thing. That's done and over with. And he did that a couple of other stars. But you have to watch their video for all of that. But anyway, he fits to open four more shops, and he'll have a total of eight shops. Um, 
He said he's opening one in Houston, New Orleans, um, D.C. And then he said Miami, but he kind of laughed. And um, Charlemagne asked him why he laughed. And he was uh, he was saying stuff like people wouldn't expect them to. I'm going to tell you, and that's true. Black people don't expect for you to do certain things. They don't expect for you to, they don't expect for him to be doing what he's doing as a black man. It's hard to get support. In our community. Y'all know how y'all do. It, it's hard for an entrepreneur. Or somebody trying to build their own brand. Or their own thing. Because we don't support each other. Let's be honest. Even here in the world I'm in. In the YouTube world. they You can't get support. And I'm not talking about within other YouTubers. I'm talking about within the community. Because nobody wants to see anybody grow. It's hard for me to get subscribers and supporters. Because nobody wants to see anybody grow. Everybody... Turning their nose up for for what reason? For no reason. Just hate. They hate on each other. This is what they do in the community. I get more some support outside of my own color, and that doesn't make sense. It shouldn't be like that, and that's crazy. So I understand what he's saying. People wouldn't expect a bunch of stuff, but anyway, watch the interview. And you can see all of that where he goes into detail about it. I'm proud of him. I'm glad that he's progressing. He's moving forward. He's thriving. They said it's a lot of good things coming um, to the show. This season, we got some good drama to see. I can't wait to see. I will be tuned in. I make sure all my work hours <laughs> is not interfering with my TV schedule. I make sure I'm on the day shift so I can come home and watch TV and give y'all these reviews. But anyway, I thank y'all for watching. Be sure to click that little bell notification down here so y'all can get updates for whatever I upload and if you are a subscriber to my channel all you simply have to do is click the playlist that says reaction tv and you will have all my reactions because I upload a multitude of things because that's why they call me all things nail because I do it all that's just me I can't be defined because your girl just you know <laughs> but I will see y'all in the next video peace out